Welcome to WTDC 17 here in Buenos Aires in Argentina, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Justine Mashiba, who is from the Universal Communications Service Access Fund in Tanzania. Justine, thank you very much for being with us in the studio today. Thank you for having me here. And you've just come from the women's breakfast here at the WTDC 17, which was very well attended and a lot of interesting conversations here. Perhaps we could talk a little bit about women and girls in ICT. I wanted to start off by asking you, what's the situation in your country with regards to access and use of ICTs uh, by young women and girls? Um, uh, thank you very much for that question. Um, like any other African and least developing countries um, in Africa, uh, use of ICT by girls is very uh, little. It's like all the ICT issues has to be for men. So the situation is not that uh, balanced because we see uh, majority of boys going for ICT while the girls are just left out without uh, doing any ICT. So it's really challenging. Um, and we as a fund, we are trying very hard to include the women in uh, pursuing ICT, ICT subjects and studies. And what are some of the challenges that women and girls are facing in accessing ICTs? Um, there are several challenges that um, uh, women or girls are face it, facing in uh, ICT. One, one of it is um, uh, there's no internet connectivities. There's no computers that are available for anyone to use. There's also um, these norms that, uh, you know, as a woman or as a girl, you're not supposed to touch those things. Those things are for men. So uh, there's a lot, a lot of challenges um, um, uh, that are facing uh, girls in accessing to, to, to ICT. And what measures would you say needs to be put in place to ensure that women and girls acquire the relevant digital skills that they need? Oh, um, as a fund, we are trying very hard to make sure that uh, these girls are reaching out uh, um, this ICT equipment. Like now, we have organized our Girls in ICT Day, whereby uh, many girls like 448 girls participated in the, the initiative. And also we are doing school connectivities um, so that girls also can access to ICT and you know ICT equipment. And at the end of the day, we are bringing the girls within ICT arena. And finally, what do you think that national governments and the international community can do to encourage women to pursue careers in ICT? Um, the first thing that uh, the government should uh, do or to, uh, um, is uh, to make, like, uh, it's a requirement to, to put in a curriculum, maybe, in a study curriculum, that uh, uh, it's a subject that uh, needs to be pursued by anyone, whether you're a girl or you're a boy, you have to do that. And at the same time, the government or international organizations should also support girls in uh, uh, accessing uh, ICT equipment because sometimes they want to do it but because there's nothing then it is becoming very difficult so it's the right time now as a government or a international organization to come together and see the way forward for the, our girls. Well, Justine, well thank you very much for joining us in the studio today. We very much hope to uh, be able to catch up with you at some stage in the future and uh, good luck with your projects. Thank you very much. Thank indeed. you very much for having me here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.